uh, sizes uh, with lymph nodding, uh, emphasizing cervical and thoracic extensors. Uh, it's very important to explain to the performer earlier before the, uh, uh, the start of this stabilization exercises the neutral position of the cervical spine. Uh, and uh, as if, uh, imagine as if there's something pulling you upward, so you will uh, perform a slight nodding and tucking your chin in. Yes, we will be doing the same movement but from prone. Uh, and um, uh, as usual in the stabilization exercises for the cervical region, we have two key factors that you need to determine the uh, level of support and the protection phase. For the level of support, it can be determined by selection the starting position. So the uh, maximum uh, level of support can be done from prone lying, then quadruped, uh, and the least amount of support can be done from standing on a curved surface, then standing on a uh, wobbly surface. Uh, for the protection phase, the second factor can be determined by the limb loading, the amount of limb loading. Uh, and uh, the amount of limb loading will determine the protection phase. We have maximum to moderate protection phase, moderate to minimum protection phase, and minimum to no protection phase. So basically, we will start with the prone lying position. And uh, firstly, you need to ask the performer which will be head will be uh, on the ground. Uh, then you need to ask them to uh, lift the head of the ground by performing the neutral position. So taking the chin in and keep the forehead um, off the ground for uh, 10 seconds. So he needs to hold for 10 seconds and repeat for 10 times, relax. Whenever he is able to do that, so performing 10 repetitions of lifting the head off the ground and holding for 10 seconds, we can now add the limb loading. Relax. Okay. Now we will start, so you will assume the neutral position and uh, you need a moving head. Uh, you need to uh, start the limb loading. I will ask the performer to uh, rotate, extend and rotate uh, both arms, extend and rotate both arms, and uh, retract the uh, uh, scapula. Okay. Uh, again, hold for 10 seconds and repeat 10 times, relax. And when he's able to do that, we can progress now the limb loading. So we will uh, progress to 90-90 position, uh, 90 degrees uh, shoulder abduction with 90 degrees uh, elbow flexion, and he is uh, holding the neutral position and also applying the traction of the scapulae. Uh, he needs to hold for 10 seconds and repeat 10 times, and relax. When he's able to do that, he will progress to uh, bilateral shoulder flexion, so raise both arms upward. Again, uh, he's retaining the neutral position by lifting the uh, head off the ground and tucking the chin in, uh, holding 10 seconds, repeating uh, 10 times, relax. And uh, then we can progress this into the uh, bilateral shoulder abduction in 90 degrees and 90 degrees and uh, um, applying extended uh, rotation uh, of the arm and retraction of the scapulae. Uh, and all uh, these movements by holding the neutral position of the cervical spine. Again, hold 10 seconds and repeat 10 times. You can relax now. And then we can progress into the uh, uh, diagonal patterns. Uh, and uh, you can apply it uh, unilaterally. So, with the right hand, he's applying, of course, the neutral position of the cervical spine by lifting the forehead off the ground and going with the right and into diagonally into the other uh, position, relax, and we can uh, apply the same for the uh, left arm as well. So by applying the neutral position of the cervical spine and reaching to the uh, other side of the leg, you can relax now. Now if the performer is able to do uh, all the uh, progression of the left loading, you can now change the uh, level of support. So we have done this from prone. Now we will apply it from quadruped, and you can use the uh, medicine ball or the gym ball. Uh, of course, you need to uh, select the size that it is uh, applicable and appropriate for the performer. So it is uh, on your hands and knees. So he's assuming the quadruped position, and from the quadruped position, uh, this is less level of support, so it's more challenging for the performer. Of course, he needs to apply the neutral position of the cervical spine by taking the chin in. Uh, and keeping this position and all the arm movements, all the limb loading variations that we have used before in the prone line position 
will be repeated now from this position. So for example, let's start with the bilateral arm external rotation. So arms beside the body. And he's doing external rotation of the arm while retracting the scapula and holding, of course, the uh, neutral position of the spine. Again, uh, 10 uh, times 10. So holding 10 seconds, you can relax now and repeating 10 times. And then we can move to the other position, which was 90 uh, by 90, 90 degree shoulder abduction, 90 degrees elbow flexion, retracting the scapula while holding the uh, neutral position of the cervical spine. And from here, you can relax and you can go for the bilateral shoulder uh, flexion, forward flexion, and holding the uh, cervical spine while taking the chin in, uh, holding 10 seconds and repeating 10 times, and also going shoulder abduction. Okay, extend the rotation of the arms and retracting the scapula, holding the uh, head into the neutral position, uh, holding 10 seconds and repeating 10 times, relax. Uh, so this was done from the quadruped position, uh, which is again less level of support as compared to the prone. If the performer is able to do all the variations and all the repetitions uh, from the quadruped position, you can progress into standing. Uh, standing uh, against a wall, uh, standing on a firm surface, then standing on uh, a wobble board, so a wobble surface. Uh, and you can also apply all the limb loading variations that you have used in the uh, previous positions, I mean the drone and the quadruped. Uh, so this was the, uh, the stabilization exercises for the cervical and thoracic extensors.